Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. Say, I have not channeled Prince in a while, and so I think it's about time to have a conversation with him. So I'm going to let you eavesdrop in on a dialogue that he and I will have. And I kind of want to, I'd like to give you a little bit of a background or a feel for how it works for me when I just am able to just connect with spirit myself and just talk. And so I do it with my healing team of angels and guides, and I also do it with some celebrities as well, I guess you would say, in the afterlife. And if you don't already know how the work began, this channeling work that I do, you can go ahead and watch the introduction video for Above Life channel and you can get a background. So Prince is kind of the guy that started it out for me. When he moved into the afterlife and full on spirit, he and I connected many, many times and had some great conversations and I was really touched and moved by the true nature of his spirit. His soul so generous and so incredibly creative and, and, and with a great depth of compassion for humans, for people, very caring, very much wanting to tend to and hold up his fans and his family, people who love him to help in the healing process. And so that really moved me, that really inspired me to continue to channel him and then eventually I publicly shared that. So, all right, so today I'm just gonna chat with him. He and I haven't really just talked for a while. And so we're gonna have a conversation, which you would consider channeling. But for me, it's just kind of normal, you know? So we're just gonna do a check-in. All right. Just a regular conversation style channel with Prince. He's on my left, which is interesting because I started to notice him showing up on my left where before he used to be on my right. Now, why is that a big deal? Why does that matter? It matters to me because when I interview or have conversations with the afterlife, Usually they come and they sit here at the kitchen table. Remember, this is my kitchen. This is where the magic happens when I'm doing videos for you. And they usually sit like a guest would across from me or sometimes right next to me. And, but Prince, he's kind of hanging out oh, over by the edge of where my kitchen meets the living room. There's a doorway and he kind of is right there which is kind of fun because that's a there's like a stool there and there's a plate and then there's a big um, picture kind of display where I kind of show pictures in and stuff of the kids just kind of put you know just snapshots and stuff and like a memory board thing and uh, there's a stool there and it's a place where a lot of us just sit like my kids will sit there my husband will sit there I'll sit there when we're just talking in the kitchen when someone's making dinner or whatever a lot of times that's a comfortable place and that's where he is <laughs> so it fits it's so sweet see see how this works now our relationship prince has evolved over time and i'd like to share give people some insights onto that and and maybe um even though we're going to have a conversation maybe we can talk a little bit about how people can build their relationship as well with spirit in the afterlife if they choose to do that <laughs> right away so he's like we're supposed to be talking about you. We're just supposed to talk. They're just supposed to listen. Remember, that's what you said. Like, we need to have a session. We have not had a session, Bridget, in a very long time. I know, I've been so booked. I've been so busy. So, yeah, let's just talk. All right, Prince, let's just talk. Let's just catch up. Let's let's shoot the breeze. <laughs> um, I will mention that I've got a little notebook here. I like to, um, and it's just, it's just blank. It's just got, like, little, you know, this little notebook here because I always have a notebook when I'm connecting and communicating just so I can kind of scribble and I just grab a pen and I can just kind of scribble and and distract me if I need to um, but with you usually it's a little different I don't really yeah, I don't really need to do that there's no formal conversation here all right so let's just and I invite you if you're watching to just feel into the energy I'm just closing my eyes so I can just feel Oh, now he's really close to me. Okay. <laughs> Did I freak you out, he says? <laughs> no. No. Now that's my friend. He's like, oh, he's like, I missed you. I'm like, thanks. You know, I missed you too. Reflection of what my soul, so the spirit, so Prince is reflecting what my soul feels. I miss him too because it's nice just to hang out. It's nice to do psychic, psychic work and psychic connection because it's fun for me because it fills me up. It gives me a piece of myself full center. So because like I said, 
I was talking to my husband last night and I said, being psychic for me is like breathing. I mean, it's so much a part of who I am. And now channeling and working with, you know, famous well-known spirits in the afterlife is a whole new thing for me. And it's, it's such a, it's incredible to me. Like it just, it, it blows me away how, how willing and present and how easy it is to just feel sense connect into spirit in the afterlife and get information from them share um, they they really share energy that is supportive of the human experience and that provides insights maybe on their lives so that we can learn from that and that that is incredible to me that's why i'm doing this that's why i'm sharing this because that's the powerful point. That's the purpose, right? And it's because of you that I started doing this. So it's your fault. <laughs> it's like, not my fault. And he's got orange on. And orange is the sacral chakra color, which is all about fire and creativity and motivation and inspiration. And I love it. So when he and I connect, that's kind of what sometimes he, sometimes he gives me a kick in the pants. Sometimes he can be serious. But right now he's like, yeah. Yeah. So he's like, talk to me about that. Okay. All right, so Prince, so here's the deal. I totally understand, as I've been talking to some other Hollywood types, how being in the public eye it has so many pieces, aspects, and it's complicated that because you don't live a normal I mean, nobody really lives a normal human life. Everybody's lives are unique, but it's just, there's layers of complexity because of the stardom, because of the recognition, because of being in the public eye and the paparazzis and the reporters and people that just hound you. And uh, well, he says, it, it, not so much for me. He's like, it's not, it wasn't as bad for me when I was in Minnesota. He says, when I was at home, easy, easy compared to being in Hollywood or going someplace else and then people recognize you and it becomes this it becomes a circus and that's overwhelming he says that's overpowering he uses the word actually uh, overpowering that's overpowering and as I've been talking to celebrities I I've always had the view that you know they're people too so we don't own them just because they make stuff movies or music that we love and we feel like we know them we don't know them and we don't own them i've always felt like that and i've also personally always felt afraid i've had an adversity to being recognized and well known myself like doing spiritual work doing psychic work there is a level of fear I'm going to speak about that a little bit. That's perfect. Let's talk about that. That's a great topic for me to, to explore with you and let them watch eavesdrop is there's a level of fear around when people have access to you or they feel like they do, then there's this pressure to respond, to be responsive to comments, to um, emails, to requests. And that's not a reality. Like I can't, like one person can't, you know, can't do that. And it's not like I have a bunch of staff or anything um, to manage that stuff. I have some people that help me, but I don't have, I'm like, I don't have an entourage or anything. And I don't want an entourage necessarily. <laughs> like that's not, like that's something a long time ago. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna give you a background. So like it's 2018 when I'm recording this and it would have been, five years ago, I think, I hired a coach, a life coach um, for my business, like an entrepreneur coach, a business coach, to help me just really kind of define what is the purpose of my work, um, how do I want to share it, uh, who my audience is, and to understand other aspects of business as an entrepreneur, because that's not really my background. And so I did that, but during that process, uh, the coaching actually didn't work out for me. I ended up leaving the relationship with my coach because I felt so pushed to be more public and be more like, she's like, why don't you want to be famous? Why didn't you want to be famous? And I'm like, 
I, I don't want to be famous. Like, I don't need that. I don't need that. Like, that's an ego thing. That's not me. I don't want that. I don't need that. And I think in part, I've always kind of understood that when you're well known or when people know who you are, they feel as though they have access to you or they get access to you. And then there's not privacy. It's not even privacy. It's just this feeling of needing to, wanting to give back and wanting to serve, be in service, you know, and to, to serve your purpose goes in conflict with, because some people really demand, like they expect you to just answer their questions or be, you know, they expect to have access to you and that's not how it works. And I've already had a little bit of that, not too much, but a little bit. And not to mention, you get some people that are really kind of uh, scary, to be honest. Like you don't know, are they mentally unstable a little bit? You know, I don't want anybody um, I don't want to be the reason or the supposed reason why somebody does something crazy or whatever, you know, and people that aren't very stable um, might make crazy decisions based on something they think you said in a video or something, you know, so that kind of stuff, that scares me. That, that is a fear for me, but it's not a strong enough fear for me to not do it, not share videos, not do psychic work, not be a channel, but I... I'm not doing it to be famous, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I, I hate friends, it's like, why you do it? Talk, talk about why you do it. Because that's how I'm made. I, it's like my heart beating. I can speak for those who don't have a voice that is understandable or audible. And we as society, humanity, we're such a culture of like the quick fame or the instant, inst like reality TV. And I mean, just look at in the United States who the president is, hello. I mean, instant quick fix gratification, uh, reality TV, celebrity kind of energy. We, we can be better humans better people we can feel more fulfilled we can be better contributors to our families we can impact the lives and the relationships that we have with the people around us we can make a difference and i know it i believe it a hundred percent because i've had experiences when i've been in session and connecting someone to a loved one and just feeling that moment of peace that final moment where They've been waiting for just a, a calm, uh, just a, a, an acceptance energy that gives them freedom from pain and from grief. And finally there's relief. And so that, that's why I do it. And I do it because, because of the society that we're in, that instant I need I need information right now, I need it right this minute. And it's like this quick response, quick response, quick response kind of thing, like this, all these triggers and flashing and energy and information coming in so quickly. It's really important to then acknowledge where's our energy, where's our spirit in this? Because we're not just people, we have soul, we have a spirit, we have energy, there's stuff that's intangible that we're never gonna be able to do in electronics or even technology won't be able to grasp or comprehend. And that is soul and spirit, and that is energy in that those terms. And talking to the afterlife, giving that voice to those who are not audible, who don't have bodies, but have such incredible wisdom to be able to look, we then, society as a whole, can recognize through the stories of the afterlife, how we can change, how the choices that we make can better our lives and have a domino effect on others and how important that is to acknowledge our own individual powers, our own individual power, our empowerment. That's the point. And we listen. We listen to famous people. We listen to people that have, you know, 50 million followers or whatever it is. I don't know on YouTube, social media. Um, we were constantly watching and listening 
And I think that the afterlife, the spirits have spirit energy and spirit wisdom has so much to offer, they deserve a platform too. Because really we're all spirit, and we've talked about this before, right? Okay, so now he has like this gold thing, this sh silver or sh shimmery gold, like it's like a netting gold kind of long, beautiful, like a duster, really long, beautiful, kind of like almost crocheted, but it's gold flex, beautiful. He says, tell him about gold. I said, Bridget, what does gold mean to you? Gold means a high vibration, very high. It means solar, like vitamin D from the sun, good energy. It means a boost of positive energy. That's what gold means. It means divine. And it also means soul, the spirit, solar plexus. <laughs> That's what it means. It's like, so I'm going to give you a shot in your belly, yeah, a bit of inspiration for you. You are, huh? Yeah, I give you a shot in your belly. All right, so you're going to receive that? I'm like, yeah, I'll receive that. So... Let's connect us outside of our minds and outside of our understanding and acknowledgement of human experience and let's feel energy, positive, soulful energy. So I invite you, if you're watching, I gotta relax my body, I'm too, I'm kind of sitting at an angle here because I'm looking at him, so I'm just gonna touch my belly and I invite you to touch your belly button. That's your sun chakra spot. And I'm gonna give you some energy vibes with me while we're doing this and Prince is gonna help us out. Soul support coming in. He says, soul support like vitamins for your spirit. <laughs> He's right around me right now, and his hair is straight. And it's covering the sides of his cheeks a little bit down, almost shoulder length. It looks like it's been flat ironed or something. It's kind of popping over the sides of my shoulders. You might be able to sense that or feel that. He's touching my shoulders, so I invite you to feel the strength in your shoulders. That's a great meridian, which is an energy beam of the body that gives you just this, yeah, we can do this, we can do this energy. So I'm holding my belly, I invite you to do the same. Feel support and upliftment on your shoulders and then breathe the belly with me. Ooh, when I did that, my heart just like shook. Clearing through this the sun chakra means that the energy comes out the belly or comes out the belly button when we breathe So we breathe in the energy goes down the body and comes out the belly. So do that with me and If you feel silly, it's working very well because that's a good point. The brain feels silly. The body loves this So let's do it <laughs> that feels good, doesn't it? If it feels silly to have your hands over your belly button while you're exhaling out, you can just lay them in your lap, okay? <laughs> I was feeling that. I was like, oh, I'm pushing my hands away. All right, let's breathe in and fill ourselves up with that soulful, spirited energy with the help of Prince, my friend, my soul friend in the afterlife. And this is for you too, okay? That's why we're doing this together. You get to be part of it, right? So breathe in. Fill up those lungs, and then exhale out the belly. Imagine the belly button. Exhaling out. Now do that as many times as you need to until your body actually gives in and you can actually breathe. I need to do this a couple more times. I can feel energies up and down my back, like tension. And this is clearing, you guys. This is kind of clearing. This is not clearing. Clearing and spiritual stuff and energy and healing is not complicated. It's simple. You just got to do it. You got to go, okay. You got to get over yourself and go, this feels silly. Is this working? You got to get over that. That's the biggest hurdle. That's the most difficult part. Okay, so let's do it again. Let's breathe in again. Stop. I just literally felt like somebody went like this on the side, my side. It's like, dink. Like, <laughs> like okay, it's being goofy. Okay, come on. We're trying to be serious here. We're trying to be serious. We stop with the shenanigans. Prince is really funny. He likes to prank. He likes to remind us, me, not to take things so seriously. Okay, spiritual stuff doesn't have to be all deep and serious and that kind of thing. Like, I got to take a stand. It doesn't have to be that way. Okay, breathe. <laughs> breathing in. Let's begin again. 
and exhaling out, out the belly. Oh, I feel my angels and my team. So now I feel like an arc of like cloud, sky, blue sky, and it's actually raining around me. You might be able to hear the thunder every once in a while. Actually, it's raining outside. It's early morning here. And I see clouds and beautiful fluffy clouds in the sky like cotton candy and a light blue sky. And I feel my angels and guides. So I invite your healing team in, your angels and guides, to be part of your process today to give you insights and wisdom and support your connection with your spirit so you can hear your own, channel your own spirit voice. This is Bridget at Above Life Channel. Thank you for being part of this experience today. You can kind of see how things work for me, how I dialogue. I literally talk out loud with spirit and I do it when the, the cameras aren't rolling as well. And it might sound silly or crazy, but it works really well for me and it's, it's brought me to where I'm at today. It makes me good at what I do. Thank you so much for being here. If you, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a like. And if you never want to miss a weekly channel, be sure to subscribe. <clears throat> Remember, the purpose here is to inspire your spirit, to fill you up with hope. It's your life, so live it. Thanks for being here.